I'm Norm Alabaugh, project manager for the restoration of this 75-acre property called the Sunny Peace Prairie. Many obstacles thwart my efforts to make progress with the restoration. During deer season, I always found gut piles on the property. No hunting signs seemed to be the answer. I made some nice signs and installed them for the 2019 deer season. This one lasted exactly one day. A gleaner combine picking the corn in the field did a real number on my artwork. My ranger can overcome many obstacles, but this tree on the path that cuts through the large woods had to be removed. It took two cuts, one from each side with my 21 inch saw to get through the log. The bobcat could not pick up the single piece, so I had to cut it into two pieces. Here is some evidence of climate change. The last two years we've had downpours in January and February when much of the ground is still frozen. Large sheets of water come off the fields and drain into the gully running through the woods. The water is washing out the grass waterway that channels the water into the gully. A few tons of rock, of which there are many piles, resulting from removing rocks from the fields over many years may be the answer. However, I'm afraid that when the January-February downpours come this year, all my rock will be swept away by the floods. There are numerous small garbage dumps on the property. I remove them as I have time. It would have required no more effort to dispose of this junk properly than it took to move it into the woods. Crazy people. I logged more than 120 hours this last year doing restoration work at the Sunny Peace Prairie. Unfortunately, much of it was repair work instead of restoration work. I'd make more progress if it wasn't for the obstacles.